hey guys welcome back and for today's recipe i'm going to be showing you how i make sorrel now sorrel is pretty much the number one drink during christmas season in the caribbean and you're going to need some ginger orange peel i peeled one orange in whole some cinnamon sticks some bay leaves Back here I have two and a half cups of sugar and I will be adding more. And the star of the show, the sorrel. Now this is the dried sorrel. You can also use the fresh. Now the dry one is more concentrated. Let's get started. So here I have about 12 cups of water that I put to boil in a saucepan. And to that I'm going to be adding my bay leaves. my orange peel, my cinnamon sticks, and I cut up my ginger. And next we're gonna go in with the star of the show, our sorrel. It's also called hibiscus or roselle as well. Now the dried sorrel tends to be a lot more concentrated than the fresh one. So if you're just making a small batch of sorrel, I would advise you to not use the whole pack because this is eight ounces. And as you guys can see, it has not even started boiling as yet, but the water is already changing to that red color. And I'm going to allow this to boil for about 30 minutes. And you're going to see that really dark red color, which is what I'm looking for. Okay, and this is 15 minutes into boiling. The color is a lot more intense now. But the skin of the orange is not as bright red as I need it to be which would let me know that it is totally done. Okay guys, this is 30 minutes later. And as you can see, even the orange peel, the insides has taken that bright red color. The water is the color that I'm looking for. And it is smelling so good in this kitchen. Everything is nicely incorporated. And I'm just gonna put the stove off. I'm going to sweeten and allow it to sit overnight. Okay, guys, so this is the following morning. And I did add some additional sugar and also some pieces of fresh ginger. Thanks again for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.